This video will show how to thread a large three-wheeled slick line measuring head. It has both a measuring wheel and a nearly identical idler wheel on the same shaft in addition to the tension wheel. It can be threaded through the side with the cable head attached or through the rollers if you're threading just the wire. For all threading, loosen and reposition the upper keeper roller and the two pressure rollers on the tension wheel and move them to the end of their slots. If threading with a cable head attached, also loosen and swing the guide plates away on the two sets of guide rollers. Note that the two sets of guide rollers align perfectly with the correct wheel for easy threading. Now thread the wire between the guide rollers on the drum end of the measuring head. Run the cable over the top of the idler wheel, which is the wheel furthest from you, and then under the keeper roller. Now run the wire under the guide roller plate spacer. Now continue over the top of the tension wheel. Run the wire under the two pressure rollers and in the groove around the back of the tension wheel. Continue around the wheel and over the lower keeper roller to the bottom of the measuring wheel. Make sure the wire is not in the idler wheel groove by mistake. Pull the wire around the wheel and using a 3 quarter inch open end wrench, spring the pressure roller away and set the wire in the groove under the roller. Run the wire up over the top of the wheel and under the upper keeper roller. When properly threaded, this is how the wire should look on the wheels. The wire then exits the orca between the second set of guide rollers. Now reposition the upper keeper roller as shown. Reposition the guide roller plate on the guide rollers and tighten the screws. Now reposition and tighten the two pressure rollers on the tension wheel. You may need to adjust the tension wheel so that the pressure roller fits in the groove of the wheel. Now reposition the second guide roller plate and tighten the screws. Make sure the screws on all the wheels are tight. This is what the measuring head should look like when it's properly threaded.